So in the previous videos we've seen how to start a new project inside Micromind and the different menus and panels. We've seen how to import the topography, create the DDM using the wireframe tools and clip that wireframe to get you know a small chunk of that topography to use it for our bit design. So we are going to jump now into the main purpose of this training which is bit design okay but before we start like some of you might know that the bit design is probably if not uh, it is the last step in mind planning so before we uh, create a pit design, usually we uh, create a geological model and we do some geostatistics uh, and locate the ore body that we want to uh, explore and use that block model that we've created to uh, get uh, you know, the ultimate pit shell using an optimizer uh, some of the known optimizer out there is Whittle and there are you know an integrated optimizer that uses the same algorithm here in Micromine it's called the pit optimizer there are plenty of them there on the market but uh, they all give you the ultimate pit shell that you will use as a reference to you know design the ultimate economic pit or maybe you got if you use some parameters like the uh, reduction factor to get the uh, mining sequence so it's the the evolution of the pet design and you get to design each one of them uh, separately okay so we're not going to cover that here because our main purpose is to get to the pet design but maybe we will do other trainings that will cover that so stay tuned okay so any bit design is actually you know limited or constrained by a lot of things so we start with social constraints maybe in the place where you want to explore or you know uncover that or that is economic for your business there's a village in here and you can't actually you know uh, create a hole in there and kill some people so that's a constraint that's considered a constraint so you have to go in here and some of the ore in here you are not going to get it so that's uh, something and maybe there's a, uh, a valley in here so there's a water uh, coming up from here and another distant village here is using that water maybe to drink or you know for their uh, you know agriculture or whatever so you can't create a hole in here and deviate that water to some other places these people are going to get angry so we're talking about social uh, you know constraints there are other constraints here like the other one you're talking about here which is the hydraulic constraint there's maybe another thing that you are going to go down below the uh, you know the surface and there's a water table in here and you cannot cross that because you know uh, your uh, pit is going to be turned into a lake so there's uh, a limitation in the depth that you can reach and that's a hydrogeological uh, constraint so there are plenty of other constraints maybe there's a road in here that you don't want to deviate and you limit yourself to a small you know portion of that or and there are plenty of them plenty of constraints that depends on the place where you want to explore the uh, the ore and there are there are other constraints that are related actually to the material 
or to the layer of the geology that you're dealing with in here. So if you are maybe uh, uh, going to cross a sandstone or a limestone or clay maybe it's all different so in the limestones you can go to a slope of I don't know 60 degrees maybe but if we have the sandstone maybe that that's like 20 degrees or 25 and these are actually called geotechnical constraints and you, we need to do some geotechnical analysis and create some sort of a geotechnical you know sort of model like we need to use the 25 degrees in here and we need to use some 30 degrees in here and there's you know a uh, limestone layer in here so we can go up to 60 uh, degrees these are geotechnical constraints so in this training we are going to assume that we know everything and we are going to just go on that pit and just design it so dummy data but in real life you need to have these data covered by other engineers and they give it to you to start that design okay so to create a pit design all you have to do is to go to here and choose pit design or maybe go to mining and pit design new uh, string and there's the toe crest contour road or whatever so in any pit design we have a toe and a crest so what is a toe and what is the crest we're gonna cover other you know things in here so so this is this is uh, you know roughly what a pit design will look like so we talk about a toe in here so if we're creating uh, a toe string we are going to create this one here it's gonna be all over the pit this one is the crest string which is the upper one now if we talk about the berm the berm is the uh, you know the uh, offset that we leave in here for just in case there's some rock are falling from here so they are not going down to the pit so they are going to stop in here so all of these parameters are defined when we do the geotechnical analysis so for the batter, batter angle uh, and the bench height it's the same thing so the overall slope slope is this one so the overall slope for the uh, you know the, the pit we leave a ramp here ramp is uh, an access road for the you know for the dampers or the uh, you know the excavator to enter the uh, the pit and we got the inter ramp angle in here so these are the kind of parameters that we need to start doing the design let's go back to micromine now and start a new pit design file we are going to call this uh, uh, pit one and we have here the expand option so if you're going to create a pit and we have let's say the uh, contour on the surface we are going down and inside so we are going down and inside so not outside okay so inside and for the butter height we are going to use five meters for the butter slope we are going to use 30 degrees and for the berm we are going to use 3 meter we can calculate the inter ramp angle and it is 23.2 now here inside micromine when you see a, a red option in here which means it is required you need to insert a, a better height and better slope and berm width for width for this uh, you know window and as you can see the inter ramp angle is not required so we can go just with these and micromine will automatically calculate that keep that in mind so for the display here you can see that the strings of the toe are going to be displayed in green for the crest are going to be in blue for the roads and the contours and all the different they all have 
different colors and we can change these colors or the thickness of the you know the lines and the type uh, using the display panel so these two options we are going to cover them later so we click on OK okay so we have here the uh, our pit design or pit uh, file now let's go to uh, properties and let's go to a uh, new string and start so we're not gonna go there so we're gonna see some basic pit and then we are going to create our own here let's create a simple you know pit outline and right click and choose close string so this one is blue which means as you can see here in the string it is crest why do we have a crest because we've in our uh, pit uh, design we, we have chosen to go down so if we're going down which means that we're starting from the upper side and that means the crest so as you can see we have here a uh, uh, crest so let's go down to the next level here we have the pit design uh, tools so let's go and uh, go down to so I'm going to project this string using the butter height and the slope there you go so that was done see we've gone down using uh, 5 meters with a 30 degrees angle now let's just go and project to a uh, berm a berm of 3 meters and go down 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 and as you can see we are starting to create our pit. it's a little bit you know big so that's why we uh, can't see things let's go and uh, delete this one and make it a little bit smaller here and create a small bit in here and go and close it this is our uh, you know let's hide the wireframe for the moment so that we focus on this bit and let's go down with butter height and with the berm width butter height berm width at the same time as you can see we are starting to see our bit design in here let's do that in an automated way there you go that's our bit so these were the basics of creating a simple pit. We are going to uh, do that again, but we'll focus on a more, much more detailed pit in the next video.